I'm going to show you how you can embed a map of Airtable records on your website. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add it also this in the description. So the tool itself is actually embedded right now, right here in the website. This is a complete live demo and this is actually what you would get if you were to use this tool. So you could have a map like this on your website embedded just like this. The pins here, the dots, are actually all records on Airtable. Um, each of these records actually has a longitude and a latitude in it. So there's a longitude and latitude column. Let me show you the table, put them side by side here so that it's, it's clear. Um, so these pins right here, their values, their locations are taken from the longitude and latitude values here. And if I click on this right here, I'll see an image. This image is taken from here. And I'll see a title, and title is taken from here. So everything that you're seeing is literally just records on a table. And we map them, and we put them on this map. Um, the last thing here is also a URL. Um, so this is actually clickable, so they can be taken to a web page if you click on one of these. The URL just has to be a URL on your table on the record. So as long as you have an Airtable, uh, a, a field that has a URL, we can link to that. So in our case right now, we're linking to a different extension that we have that previews that, um, that single record. So we've got a different extension and its whole purpose is to just have a URL that displays a record. And this is the, we've linked the two extensions. If you're interested to get this extension that you're seeing right now, this is called the single record previewer. And another thing you can do is if you don't want to embed it on your website, you can also visit it as a web page. So you can share a URL with people and the URL would just be hosted on our website and the URL would show the people that enter it that same map, but full screen. And yeah, so that you would not need a website. Um, so let me show you how you would set this up. You would start by filling up the API key, base ID, and table ID. Follow the blue URLs to find those. And then if you want to filter records, you can use a view ID. So only the records that are within that view are added. A um, couple of last things here. We've got a longitude field. So, um, I lost it. So this is this thing right here, the longitude field. Make sure it's case sensitive. Uh, make sure you copy it exactly right and case sensitive. And then we've got a latitude field after that. So this thing right here, make sure that's case sensitive as well. And then for the cover image field, um, likewise, make sure it's case sensitive. Um, and then we've got a title field. And all three of those are um, marked as optional. You can essentially just mix and match whichever you would like. So if you only just want a title and a URL, if you only want a cover image and a URL, whichever ones you would like. Um, and yeah, so just name all of them and then hit save. Then once you'll save, you'll see the share URL, you click on that. This will take you to that full screen map that you saw earlier. And then um, the next thing here is how to embed this on your website. So if you click on this, you would just select a height here and a width, just select whichever height and width you would like and would be nice on your website. And then just click on this to copy and then put that code on your website. Now, the map that we're running on is completely open source and you actually do not have to sign up you know, for Google Maps or anything like that. It's completely open source. Um, it's completely free for use and you don't have to sign up for a third party website of any sort. All you, Everything I've showed you right now is everything you need to set up this extension.